We're using a prospective data um, in a multi-ethnic cohort. So we have five different ethnic groups, African Americans, Latinos, Caucasians, Native Hawaiians, and Japanese Americans. So we follow people who did not have pancreatic cancer at the time of cohort entry. They don't have any cancer and we follow them to look at who developed pancreatic cancer. And what we found is very interesting. After 20 years of follow-up, we found that Native Hawaiians have the highest incidence rate of pancreatic cancer, followed by African Americans, which is always known to have higher risks of developing the cancer, and followed by Japanese Americans, Caucasians, and Latinos. Um, what's interesting as well is that um, looking at known risk factors for pancreatic cancer, which is smoking, type 2 diabetes, family history, rat meat intake, after adjusting for all these uh, risk factors, we still found a significantly higher risk of Native Hawaiians, African Americans, Japanese Americans, in relative to Caucasians. So, um, based on these findings, um, what's important, most important is one, um, it has not been publicized or known before that Native Hawaiians and Japanese Americans have high your risks of developing uh, pancreatic cancer relative to whites um, in the previous studies is all about African Americans. So now we show that that's an important um, cancer to pay attention to in these two populations. Um, and also based on looking at risk factors that's been identified, they do not seem to explain the higher risk among um, African American, Japanese, and Native Hawaiians. So going forward, I think it's important for researchers to pay attention to what other factors that might influence this excess risk.